Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the Coding Geek, and I'm back again to show you guys how to install your very own Vanilla Forms software on your website. Um, Vanilla Forms is some—it's a really, really good open source uh, community software um, that uh, if you guys are looking at wanting to put any type of, of forum on your website, I strongly recommend going to Vanilla. It's completely free; has a great user base behind it. There's some really good websites out there, a Penny Arcade, 9 to 5 Mac. Uh, it, it's just you're, you're starting to see it pop up all over. And uh, if you're familiar with Reddit, you'll probably love the interface. I know I do. I have it installed on a couple of my websites, and my users really like it. So I'm going to show you guys how today to uh, go ahead and set that up on your own. Um, one of the things that we're going to have to do that may be a little bit different is uh, there is no one-click install um, that I'm aware of right now for Vanilla Forums. Um, they have their own hosting service, but you know, if you already have a website, you already have hosting, just implement it on your own site. So um, what we're going to have to do is uh, go ahead and log in to your website control panel. I use PalWeb personally. Uh, if, if you know if you guys are out there looking for for hosting, watching this tutorial, definitely recommend them giving them you know give them a look. Uh, they've got some great plans, and um, you know. That way, your control panel is probably going to look the same as mine. If you don't have Pal Web, it's fine. It'll work just as fine as well. Um, once you get into your control panel, what we're going to do is we're going to look for your uh, MySQL database creation. We have to create a MySQL database in order for Vanilla Forms to store all of its data into. Um, in my case, Pal Web has a MySQL database uh, main screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And as you can see here, I've, I've got quite a few demo databases set up. Um, this is my demo site, so, uh, you know, that's not unheard of. Um, once you're in here, you're going to go ahead and hit your Find Your Add Database button. I'm going to click that. We're going to give it a name. Uh, in my case, I'm going to just name it uh, Vanilla Demo. I'm going to give it a username of um, Forum User. Can be whatever you want, and for the password, I'm just going to give it a password of password one two three. Um, you guys can certainly put whatever you want in here. I would definitely recommend a strong password. Not my example. Um, my database will be blown away as soon as this tutorial is over, so I can get away with having a pretty weak password. Um, once we've got all of our data entered, we're going to go ahead and hit this Add Database button. As you notice, PalWeb's telling me my vanilla demo database has been created. Great. Got that set up. So, uh, that's really all we have to do from our control panel. Um, next thing is we're going to head over to thecodinggeek.com. On my main page here, I have a news article about the fact that Vanilla Forms 2.1 Beta 1 was released. It was released uh, about a week ago. Been running it uh, since it was the day it was released, and it's been working real well for me. So that's what we're going to use today. Um, not going to get into the specifics of the differences in two one. You can certainly read the article if you guys want to. Um, so we're going to browse to the article, and at the bottom here, I have a download link that is going to allow you to download 2.1 beta one. Uh, just under four megs. Shouldn't take but a second to get on your on your local box. So, uh, download's complete. Do a little cleanup here and head over to my zip file. One thing that I will uh, encourage you guys is if you're on a Mac like I am, um, if you're on Windows, make sure you have your hidden files being shown. Um, there are some hidden files in the vanilla forums folder, mainly a .ht access that you will miss if you're on a Mac or a Linux machine and you do not have a hidden files or folders option enabled. Um, we're going to go to our extracted folder and uh, prepare to upload this thing through FTP to our website. So I um, already have my FTP client up and running here. I'm um, here again. This is my demo site. So what we need to do is create a folder to put our form software into. So I'm going to go to File, New Folder. In my case, I'm going to name it Forums. You can name it Community. You can name it whatever you want. I recommend Forums because, here again, it's a forum. Keep it easy. Forum folders here. I'm going to select all of my uh, content inside of my vanilla Core 2 1B1 folder. And I'm going to copy that over to my Forum folder. Um, 
Saber Duck here is giving me a little bit of issues. Sorry about that, guys. And uh, this is going to take just a little bit to uh, to upload. Um, the extracted size is just over four megs, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put you guys on hold, let this upload, and I'll rejoin you here in just a minute. All right, guys, we're just about done uploading all of our files, and as you can see, we're done. Nine point one megs of forum files have been uploaded. I'm going to do some cleanup here because I always like to close all my tabs out and uh, now we're gonna set everything up so we're gonna head over to our website um, in my case I'm gonna head over to my demo site and forms it's gonna take just a minute to load here because it's uh, gonna go through and uh, we're going to have to put in our database host. In my case, um, I'm going to have to put in my PalWeb host because that's who I am going through. So, we put that information in. We're going to give it the database name. Uh, the database user which forgive me I'm uh, having a little bit of a there we go form user that's what I thought just wanted to make sure and we're gonna put the password in the uh, application title I would recommend that to be your website name so in my case I'm gonna set this up as the coding geek demo going to input some um, information here, all basic stuff, uh, admin username, admin, admin password, going to go with another weak password here and just password123, like I said, I'm going to get rid of this, actually, I'm not going to do password one, two, three. Don't want you guys to know my password. Okay. We're going to click continue. It's going to take just a minute. And there we go. We have a vanilla form. Just like that. Signed into the dashboard, which is very similar to the WordPress dashboard. And I have just installed my very own freeform software. Um, thankfully, thanks to Vanilla Forms. So I'm not going to go into um, the actual setup or configuration today. I'm going to save that for another video. Uh, there's tons of guides out there if you guys just can't wait. But I uh, hope you can. So uh, enjoy your new forum software and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks, guys.